Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back if you're new, I'm Shayla and I'm competing in my very first wellness competition this fall. So in this video, I want to show you all what I've been doing to practice my posing routine and really perfect it when my posing coach isn't around. I am not a perfect poser. I'm still learning. There's some tips and tricks that I've learned over the past year and recently that I've been applying to my practice sessions when I'm on my own. So right now, and I'm just getting warmed up, I'm just getting a feel for the poses that I'll be doing in just a second. My goal with posing is to pose at least like 10 to 15 minutes every single day. Some days I'll even go to the gym like what I'm doing right now and I'll use their mirrors to pose. So one of the first things that I like to do while I'm posing is to record myself. And I record myself because when I look back at the videos, I see so many mistakes that I didn't even know I was making. So for instance, my foot placement. Both of my feet are turned in the same direction, but I believe my front leg should be slightly turned forward. I have to ask my coach about that. And my goal with posing is just to make it look effortless, to make it look like I have a lot of grace and I'm confident. And sometimes that can be hard to do while you're posing because it is uncomfortable. It's not comfortable to pose whatsoever. Your hips hurt, your ankles hurt, your feet hurt, but you have to play it off. What I'm doing now is I'm comparing my current walk to my walk from last year. And one thing I instantly noticed is the movement in my arms. I did not realize just how much I was moving my arms around and that can be a little bit distracting. I would like to be a little bit more subtle with my arm movement so that way it looks more natural. And I believe that will help with my entire presentation. And sometimes I'll play around with different angles to see what looks the best on my physique. I wanna make sure my waist looks really small. I believe my shoulders need a face forward, so I'm trying to turn my shoulders towards the camera. Now I'm going into my back pose, and I will hold that pose for a little while because on stage, again, they will have you just hold a pose for about 15, 20 seconds so they can compare, sometimes longer. The second thing I like to do is I like to listen to music. When it comes to music, I feel like music really elevates my mood. It calms me down. It makes me feel confident. So I'll choose certain songs that will help to pace me while I'm walking so I'm not going too fast, as well as give me confidence. The first song that I listened to was Bad Girl by Usher. And this song really paced me so that way I didn't go too fast. I kind of still walked a little fast, but it was slower than what I was walking before. And I love this song because it makes me feel really good and confident and excited. The second song I decided to listen to was Partition by Beyonce. And I chose this song because Beyonce literally has one of the most recognizable walks. She has the best stage walk on stage in my opinion and listening to her song just gives me confidence it makes me think about how i want my walk to look i don't want my walk just to be good enough i really want to perfect it whenever i need to slow down i'll play a song for that so what you see me doing now, and I'm just kind of signaling, I used the ASL to signal what song that I was about to listen to, so I wouldn't forget for you all, but I'm listening to LMA, 10,000 Hours, and I also listen to Every Kind of Way by her, because that song's even slower. And these two songs really help me to pace myself, and I know I'm going extremely slow, but when I get on stage, because I'm nervous, I tend to go faster. So I like to practice at a slower speed, so that way when my nerves kick in on stage, I'm not going as fast. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm focusing on problem areas. I'm still listening to a slower song, but I'm trying to really perfect 
my transitions. So I'm starting off in my back pose. I'm trying to make sure my foot placement is correct. And then the goal is to turn around, but not take too many steps when I do turn to the side. So back pose, let's see if I can do it. Step back. And then I think I'm supposed to bring my left foot to the front somehow. And I can't even remember how to do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I just made up something. I'll get it down. So I'm practicing on my right side. I feel like that side looks pretty good. But then when I turn to the other side, I look uncomfortable. And I can't figure out why. I'm trying to adjust myself. I'm trying to do everything I can think of, but I'll get it down eventually. Now I'm just playing around with my front pose because I want this to be my front pose, but I'm trying to find the right angles. I kind of want my waist to slightly be facing, I guess, to the side so my waist looks small. And then my shoulders need to face forward, I think. So something like that. And I'll ask my posing coach when I see her, but this is why it's so important to practice. Cause I like to pretend like I'm walking on stage. So that is what I'm doing because when I competed the first time, we stood off to the side of the stage and we had to walk to a box in the center of the stage. And the judge said that that's where the best lighting is inside that box. So when they take pictures or when the judge is evaluating your posing, that's the best place to stand. So that's what I'm doing. I'm coming from the side and trying to go right into my posing routine. I'll also face away from the mirrors because it is completely different when you do not have anything to look at. When you can't see your reflection, oh my goodness. I felt like my balance was off. I felt like I wasn't doing it right. It doesn't look too bad now that I'm looking at it, but it is so important to face away from the mirrors because when you're on stage, all you're gonna see are bright lights. And the last thing is to simply ask for help. I am still learning. I'm learning the basics. I'm learning a new posing routine. So I have hired a posing coach to help me. I don't see her every single week, but I do see her usually every other week just to really get down my posing routine. So do not be afraid to ask for help if you are struggling. I've been trying to forget but you won't let me something in my brain wants you I've been hey guys thank you all so much for watching but next week i am going to give you all a more in-depth view of my physique it is changing i do see my stomach starting to get become flatter again so that's good but i'm still a little bit bloated so that's why i haven't really put on a bikini and showed you all my physique as much but as soon as i get my bloating situation taken care of I will show you a lot more videos of me in a bikini and posing so that way you can see how my physique is changing from week to week. So we're getting there. We're making progress, just baby steps. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and again, as always, if there's anything you all want to see, I know I have my bikini fitting coming up, so I'll show you that. Let's see what else do I have. I have some more posing sessions. I actually just hired a trainer to take me through some really tough leg workout so that way I can go harder in the gym and I think that's all I have coming up so far but I'm gonna make sure I take you all along the ride for all of that and I will see you all in my next video bye <laughs>